Oh my god, Newcastle fans are doing my head in this morning. This just this isn't just aimed at people on Twitter either. There's you know other YouTubers um, that have put out some rascal opinions yesterday, and I've since deleted them. Shock. It's always good when you realise that your laptop that you spent. Enough money on, doesn't have a bloody SD card reader. Fantastic. Off to Argos we go. To rectify that with a SD card adapter. Just another tenner, bloody hell. See you soon. In the old days, whip today. Because mine is in Worcester. I do actually love this little Nissan Juke. Rapida. I am half tempted to take out the baby, to be fair. But it's just a trip to Argos. For those of you that haven't met Riley, this is Riley, Riley Rebel. Unfortunately, she's very dirty, very dirty indeed. Oh dear, Carl, you tight bastard. Sainsbury's Argos. Argos used to be over there. All now derelict building. I don't know if you can see it. But obviously with Sainsbury's uh, going in partnership or owning them, whatever it is, they uh, they are part of Sainsbury's. Although to be honest, I might have a look in B&M. Because they, they've usually got random stuff like that, haven't they? SD card readers and stuff. We've got the new specs on. I know I look like a 70s murderer. Oh my god, Newcastle fans are doing my head in this morning, this weekend. And you know when I say Newcastle fans, I'm sorry, you know, a lot of you will think that I'm referring to the majority. I'm not. I'm referring to the minority. A minority, usually the same minority of Newcastle fans, are hurting my brain. People are calling, like, for Eddie Howe to be put under scrutiny. Are you serious? Are you serious? Just because the likes of that idiot Darren Bent on TalkSport was like, oh, it's been very underwhelming. Oh, it's just four, four, six. Shut up. Shut up. Right. This is not the same side. This is not the same side. We're playing excellent football. We've played Liverpool. We've played Man Manchester City already. We've played a Brighton side who were very, very tough to beat and very, very good at winning games also. And they struggled. They couldn't even score against us. St. James's Park is now the fortress that it was all those years ago. Teams are setting up differently when they come to St. James's Park. And when people talk about perspective, they're absolutely right. <sighs> We're 11th. We've played, what, seven games. We've lost one. And the only reason we lost that game was because the ref wanted to play 120 minutes. Obviously, he played 98 minutes, not 120. But still, that is the only reason we lost. Had he played the allotted amount of time that he said he was going to, we'd be unbeaten. Fuck, man. Honestly, how people can even... I don't want to rant, but it's so annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. Like, please just step back. Stop begging for attention on social media, or at least admit that that's what you're doing. People, Dan Ashworth has been arrogant and should have spent the money that was... He spent the money that was available. We bought Alexander Isak. 
No, I am not one that's jumped on the, or, you know, I've not been out there straight away and said, oh my god, what an amazing signing. I'm someone that's been a bit re more reserved about it because I don't know enough about him. There are plenty more people out there that know far more about Alexander Isak than I do. You know, people are like, oh, we should have signed Paqueta. That may well be the case, but we weren't looking at that position. Maybe should we have potentially been looking at the, that position? Yes, but that doesn't give you the re like any sort of reasoning to call Dan Ashworth arrogant. Bruno's been out. Maximan's been out. Callum Wilson has been out. Oh my God! Dara Bent hasn't watched us play this season. Anyone that's acting like we've how have we been underwhelming? I've been impressed with the football that we've played in every game. Every game. Has it been frustrating at times that we haven't scored more goals? Yes, but that is football. That is football. We cannot expect to go from where we were last season straight up to challenging for fifth. It's not realistic. And if you think it is and you're genuinely that pissed off, I really do implore, stop watching. Stop watching or stop sharing your fucking opinion because it's bollocks. It's bollocks. Everybody's entitled to opinion. Not if it's a shit one.